Hello, hello, and welcome back again to Red Dead Redemption 2, everybody. I'm TJ Patterson, your host, and let's just jump right into it. Last time we left off, John was, uh, was doing some honest farm work. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Tom Hardy? Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> well, technically, he's lost. Yeah. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Yeah. Oh, listen to this. Oh, Jesus. Real funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Let's kick his ass, John. Get your ass beat by a fucking farmhand, huh? Yeah, bitch. Come on. Dude, you're, just, you're getting your ass kicked. You're not even throwing a shot. You're not even throwing a fucking shot. Ooh. No. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna need some help. You might as well want to help him. He was getting his ass kicked anyway. You can fight, boy. I'll give you that. You didn't even throw a punch. Oh, Jesus. Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kick your ass more than I just did. with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> Dude, I just kicked your ass. <laughs> do, do I look do like a farmhand? Up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome you should, to Big you should Valley, too, yeah. Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> You're still gonna bully him after I just kicked the living shit out of Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. God damn it, Abigail. The man needed help, and I don't think Mr. Geddes would want us to have his uh, employees beaten to a pulp. I mean, I don't think that's what he would want, but still, come on now. I feel like Mr. Geddes owes this group money, in a way. We all get caught eventually, John. Uh, hey the there, Arthur. Decide by who. Oh, that is... Oh, wait, no, that's... Never mind, that's Dutch. I thought that was uh, Arthur for a second. Old habits. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Um, what the hell? All right, uh, by the way, let me check the map. Uh, one of them is Abigail Roberts, my wife, and one is David Giddies. So let's uh, see what's going on here. Wait, but first, let's check the progress of the player because I haven't fed John in a while, and I should. I mean, I really should. Alright, uh, I don't think John's beard's gonna grow into an exponential rate. I'm just gonna throw that out right now. Alright, uh, nope. Nope. Alright, well, yeah, we really need to feed this man from time to time. Alright, let's see. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the, uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? Oh, no, his beard's growing. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? And his hair's grown a little hey, bit more now. So how long have they been on the ranch? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. <laughs> Why are you looking at a fork? Anybody are you okay, Jack? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John huh. Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> 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 Mr. Pearson made some good stew, though. Alright, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. 
Good night, Jack. Something's gonna go down. I can tell you something's gonna go down, and it's not gonna be pretty. Yep. What the hell was that? What are you? What are you doing? You hear the gunshots, don't you? Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh Jesus! I'm walking around in my fucking underwear. Who's this? Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, John, get him. Watch him burn. Put him down, all Bitch. They've killed Mr. Tobert. Oh, shit. Stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't uh. care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Ah, no wonder why the chapter is called. Uh, no wonder why it's called John Marston Rides it? again. Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. We're busting out the old gear. Thing. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? He's gonna ride good job, again. Abigail. My goddamn job. Woo! Let's go on, boys. It's gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, this is gonna go good. I just don't want to run the horse through the trees again because last time I did that, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> If you say so. That's the place We're only a few feet ahead. We could have just walked These here. These are cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more on the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, and we're wearing Arthur's hat. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a pretty nice touch. I like that. Guards. I'm going to head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's blow some heads off. All right, maybe this wasn't as boring hey. as I thought. Hey! Yes, I can. Shit, uh, where am I going? Woo! Just hear that music play. Just hear that lovely, lovely music play. Yeah. I searched with the guy who composed this game, too. Woo! Damn, I love this shoot. You gotta say, you gotta admit, the shooting did improve. I do like it, but the the, the automatic the automatic assist needs to be more live like. There you go. Now you're dead. <laughs> and we got John. We have John screen instead of Arthur's. Arthur's is a. Uh, Bright uh, yellow orange. John's screen was always like between uh, a grayish color. Where? Oh shit, there's still. We got more? Oh, 
Or by the what? Oh, I see him. Yep. Come on, get these cows. I got the guys. I'm gonna shoot them to death. Just fucking punch me. Alright. Time to kill you, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're not gonna throw any hits again like last time? Oh, oh alright. I see we got a little fight in us now. I see we got a little fucking fight in us now. Alright. Alright. Get him. I'd rather just put you a bullet in his head. You has got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. So Ooh, you don't you dare. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. As long as... Dumbass. Why would you piss me off? <laughs> oh, wait. Let's not forget John's hat. I mean, Arthur's hat. Well, technically it is John House. John's hat. But it's more likely Arthur's. Dick. Yeah, that's right. I did all that. Okay. That's right. I'm back, baby. <laughs> We're only a few feet from the ranch. Like, what the hell? to go that far as to freaking talk about John's wife. I mean, come on now. That, that was the wrong thing to do. Never talk about a man's wife who he loves very much. You're just breaking the rules after that. Like, you never talk about somebody else's woman. You never fucking do. Especially, nah. <laughs> nah, you're setting yourself up for trouble on that one. I mean, if anybody ever talked about a girlfriend of mine, I'd, I'd take that gun and shoot him right in the fucking head myself. But alas, I'm a lonely man. <laughs> so lonely that I have a YouTube channel to fucking put me by. Do we get the cows back? Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about all dead. Babe, just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Abigail's gonna kill me. <laughs> what? 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 Look, he just did his job, okay? He just saved a farm. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? You can't just let him die, Abigail. You really can't, because the farm doesn't really belong to us, and yada yada yada. You get the picture. Honestly, I feel like Arthur does. Uh, sometimes I do feel like uh, between Arthur and John, John missed all of this shit. Or oh, I hey, Arthur. Two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Jim Milton Ryan's again. I thought it said John Marston Ryan's. Alright, we're, we're not gonna do that. Uh, I would.
do some proverbial milking some cows, but I guess. Uh, Alright, I'll just milk once. And I think the next uh, mission is with uh, Abigail, I believe. I believe it is. Uh, Alright, now that we milk the cow, we have a letter. We have a letter uh, that we need to open in the post office. Now I will have to grab this letter and do it later off camera. But I kind of want to keep up with the... Uh, the amount of shit that I have to do, and, uh, yeah, uh, John's beard and hair are getting longer, it's like, he's been staying in this thing, uh, in this place for a while. I gotta honestly say, with, uh, fatherhood for idiots. <laughs> I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Is there any way I can cut my hair? No. Undertaker's lost me cattle. Not so much. That ain't true. Hmm. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. Oh my was, god, you're still questioning yourself? I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Oh Where shit. Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a Goddamn price on my head, woman. I yeah, know. if you go back to. I know all about that. Every time we about to get yep. somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom, you act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Why Blackwater? It feels hopeless. He's got a goddamn price on his head there. <laughs> I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. <laughs> One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Jesus. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Do not teach your son about what I think you want to teach him about. All right, I, I will only ask you that, John. Do not it's teach your son, which I think what I think you want to teach him. No, it isn't. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. Do things that you don't like. Work your ass off. Ma said it was pride or something. Why? Well, okay, it was a little bit of pride, but you can't say the rest was for stupid shit. Your dad was just doing his job, Jackie. Your dad was just doing his job. I mean, it makes sense just to let him do his job and not be stupid about it, you know? And who knows, you, you and your mom could have gotten hurt if it wasn't for your dad, so... Think about it, Jackie. Think about it. No, really, I want you to think about it. See, here I am again. Mooring old sub with a YouTube channel. Talking to myself on a microphone with a headset on. Wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Yeah. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. And yeah, we gotta slow down because, uh. Yeah, we gotta slow down because, uh, Jack. There we go. Won't make a man out of you yet, Jackie. 
Even though in the first game, this is what happens, he does become a man and he follows in John's old footsteps. Just to get revenge, really. I don't know what else he does after that. And this is what I would like to see out of Red Dead Redemption 3. If we ever uh, get that type of video game about Jack Marston. I kind of want the Marston line to keep on going, in a sense. That's enough. For now. That kid, ah. Barry, that kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look. Honestly, why don't you just become a teacher? I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. <laughs> Very good. Well, I only have one question. Why didn't Jack pursue himself to become a teacher? I kind of would have made a career for himself in that area. Quite. I am quite aware. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's pick up some mail. Here we are. Hi. I'm here to... Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. John Marston. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail oh, Roberts. what are you doing running your mouth, boy? Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Something doesn't feel right. That dude I in the post office. I will help you out. Mm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Oh, it now. is. Because that guy Thank just freaking overheard Marston okay. say that shit. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Nope. Sure. No. I hope so, at least. No. Here, <laughs> you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! Well, we're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just going to turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, it's the job, boy. I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. For only a few seconds. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, <laughs> even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Especially if your old life is still walking around trying to back haunt you. Trying to find a way to haunt you again. I'm watching my back, I'm watching my front, I'm watching my side. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Uh, uh speed up, Jack. Right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pee up! Nah, I don't want to tell Jack to speed up too much because if it means that we're going to be in danger, we're going to be in danger without trying to get our asses killed. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. You might want to speed up, Jack. Bit faster now. 
Hey, you might want to speed up, Jack. Oh, damn. Yeah. What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. How about never try and give out your real name ever again? Speed up a little bit more. Oh dear. I can't get him to go too fast now. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. Uh oh. Oh, this ain't good. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, you just sit. Off. Don't look around. When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Oh, we're, well, Head we're down. both fucked. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. And what would that be about? <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Oh, damn it. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh, damn it. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh. Well, now you can join your brother, you fucking piece of shit. Let's see how the hell I missed four shots. Okay, now you can join your fucking brother, you stupid asshole. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep your eyes closed. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Get up. The hell? Oh. Why are you going so slow? Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Please drive better. Hey, Jack. I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pop. Son, I need you to hold it together. Oh damn it, kid, you. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Going the wrong way. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. I'm just trying to find the way back now. Things could have gone real wrong for us. Oh God, no! Don't go into a panic attack, boy. Uh uh. No, this ain't good. Calm down now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? It's in Blackwater, though. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? 
I saw the ranch. I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the wishes we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I see. I think this is where it's gonna kind of get John in trouble at the long run here. And okay, I don't really want to see John in trouble, but again, like I said in the fir in the 31st episode, park the wagon at Pronghorn Ranch. She's already wet. That's weird. How was the? Uh oh. What happened? Yeah. It's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. A gift? Wait, you're talking. Wait, are you telling me that that. Is that the suit in there? Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Why is this still raining? What do you think you want? Tick, telegram. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> no, but I'm pretty much sure that it's Dutch trying to kick your Thanks, ass. Abe. <sighs> Which means Dutch is probably closer to the effect. I mean, even if you did go to Blackwater. Alright, sir, what do you got for me? What's the message? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. Stop. If you're the JM, I know. Stop. Stop. It's Sadie Adler. Oh no. Got something to discuss. Pay oh no. Good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. What the Demos fuck? Days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Yeah, I'll be damned too. Uh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. Uh. Especially that I think I know where this heads. <sighs> well, anyway, I don't think she's even a part of the gang anyway anymore. She left. But yet again, I wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. Nobody fucking knows. It's the game. It's a mystery, and I'm there loving it so far. Oh, blimey. Is that the time? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. What happened? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, oh, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son, and I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. God damn it. I 
gotta change for the better, man. And it's not like we're indulging in the behavior. Let me guess. Was th is this the suit from the first game? Pl oh, please let it be it. Ah, uh, no. It's not. But, looks like a handler suit. Nice. I like it. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? Uh, no. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a oh, family God. man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. <laughs> unless you find uh, Wait, about is this the Gettys from the FBI? Time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. Well, I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? A farm. She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. This is Gettys Probably. from fucking FBI, isn't Keep it? Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. And yeah, for me not to figure that out sooner is kind of a Bob Hope crap. I mean, why why did I say Bob Hope? Bob Hope has nothing to do with this. Oh, well, let's get to work. Yep. <laughs> so, uh yep. shovel shit inside the okay so I'm doing that again yeah so how much would this guy be paying me honestly See, I like John, but his decisions do get him in trouble a lot. And I'm not going to blame Abigail because she really doesn't want this life anymore. Alright, that's fine. But sometimes he really doesn't have a choice, and that's not his fault. I mean, people are stealing from this guy that he wants to, you know, he wants to get an honest living. And with, with this ranch stuff, it's him that wants to kind of do it completely without a problem, you know? Montage to show the a good work and All right, how much time has passed? <laughs> this hair's growing a little longer now. Hey, look, at least he's keeping up with crap. You don't need him getting in trouble. Yeah, that's a little bit of an animation clip I like that. <laughs> Damn, how long is this fence? A few months later. Damn, really? Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I can speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'm sorry, is, it, is that the Dickens from the FBI or that's the Gettys from the FBI? Uh, I am so confused. And every time I confuse myself, I just make it worse for myself, I guess. But I guess that's just me. Uh, let's uh, go over and see what's going on with the Gettys. Let's try to be nice about this. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Oh, oh. I'm right, right here. Why'd you have to yell at him? <sighs> That's not nice. What's the problem? 
Milton. Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, <laughs> my wife... Ah, uh, that's messed up. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess well, I don't it's know. It's a simple belief of, uh... Let's see if you can change I've your feet. Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. Well, for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure, it'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget uh, all my family. I'm just joking, son. <laughs> just make sure so. you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Well, that's all you can ever ask for, really. There's the suit. The vest. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We got our we got our Johnny back. Oh, it's gonna be nice. All right, now wait. What in the world does the map want? Two locations. Now I already have this place up in Pronghorn Ranch. Now let's see how far. Now we have City Ella, who's in Valentine. She's a lot. She's a little closer. And then we have Abigail, who's in Black. Oh, oh, actually, yeah, no, I can talk to the banker in uh, Blackwater. Uh, let me talk to Sadie real quick, and then I guess we can do uh the bank for Abigail. Um. Oh wait, I forgot to make a waypoint. That's my stupid ass doing shit again. Like, I fucking own the place. Alright. Well, let's go see old Sadie and then get her beard. I want to get her beard trimmed first before we even go and see her. Alright, just switch to cinematic. Hold the switch to cinematic cameras. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Alright, well, like I said, again, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk over this because I don't want copyright bad, so I'm gonna try to get to say the Antler, and then after that I think we're gonna end the episode because I don't know how really long I've been playing, really. But I, I, I do know that when these songs were composed and a lot of originality came to them, it, it, was, it was beautiful to, to actually hear them, and I heard the song actually on the Game Awards about a couple months ago actually now. But uh, I, I have to be careful, this is why I gotta talk over these things, because I don't want copyright coming down on me again. Because then, Red Dead Redemption and also Rockstar Games, being the kind people that they are to let me play this game, will still copy strike my video if I'm not careful. So I gotta be careful really, really badly. And I'm sorry to keep beating a dead horse and reminding people about it, but uh... And, but, but it's serious that I have to actually say that, really. I'm waiting for, like, John to actually speed up and not slow down this time. Come on, John, speed up, speed up. We don't need this stupid shit, come on. But so far, yeah, it, like... Everything is getting, uh, getting better. 
But John looks like what he what he's gonna look like in uh, in the first game, and I'm liking that so far. I'm, I'm digging it. And it, it is nice to turn on the cinematic camera, honestly. It really is nice to turn on the cinematic camera and just experience it all. The only control that I think you still have is uh, your control over the road and your control over the horse. But I haven't seen Valentine in a while, so let's just hope that people don't do stupid shit. But I think this is a uh, 1911 in in this uh, timeline, or is 1907? Because I know the first game starts off in 1911, and then it ends in 1923. I want to really be 100% sure on that because. I, I, might, I might have those timelines mixed up, because Jack Marston is 19 at the end of that game, so I really want to be sure that I'm actually telling the truth here. Oh, they were 1911. Yeah, it would have to be at least early 1920. Yeah, for, for, for uh, Jack Marston to be 19 years old and to follow in his father's footsteps. Yeah. I don't know. You guys gotta help me out in the comments if you guys don't want to. It's not like anybody watches my videos, but you know what? I still have that hope. I hope I'm entertaining as best as I can and as well as I can uh, to be a content creator on this platform. And you know, it, like it, it becomes, it really does become a, a a job, really. And and I'm liking it so far. On top of my real job, you know, I'm digging a lot of stuff. Let's see what the hell is going on here. This is crazy. But, it's very entertaining. You gotta love it. And hopefully, these, uh, these little, uh, epilogues can move faster, at least. Now, once I do this, I think I'm gonna get episode 33 done, as well as episode 32. But, uh, yeah. But I'm still heading over to City Adler, I think, and I'm not even out of the fucking range yet, aren't I? Alright, so wait, I'm gonna have to <laughs> have to disturb the song real quick. Oh no, I'm actually fairly close, okay, cool. Alright, get going. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful song. Beautiful, beautiful song. The only problem with it is... The only problem with it is that the... Oh. Ooh, horse is tired. Uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's 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 feed that horse. Yeah, you, you you didn't need torture, boy. No, you didn't need torture at all, did you? I'm just hoping that I don't have to rob any banks or do any stupid things. And then when the next uh, mission plays out, I want to really be on my toes about this. I didn't think I was messing with the horse badly. Let me see, do I have one more thing for the horse? No, I do not. Okay. No, put the damn weapon away, John. Damn it. The town actually advanced a little bit. Ooh, a little bit better, actually. Woo! It's actually pretty cool. What's wrong with you? Sorry, man. Alright. Well, let's say hi to Sadie. And then... I don't have to take this. You don't have to take I'll anything. Just... All right. Watch yourself. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What the oh, God. For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? <laughs> yep, that would have happened. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. You shouldn't say that name out loud. Last time someone saying that name out loud, I guess. Alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. Well, not the first <laughs> two initials of your name, no. You killed a feller up by Roanoke? Oh, God, what happened? I thought that sounded like you and 
Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm Blackwater. kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. Oh, we're gonna get a bounty together. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got oh, the God. from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, nope. with a pan. Wait, He's what? He's accountant, I think. Oh, he stole money. For, oh, okay. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Yeah, we do. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? All right, now I will have to say I'm gonna actually end the episode off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to uh, my channel and these videos and many other videos along the way. And if you also haven't already, please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to Jayonic Blaze. He is my brother, and he's currently working on the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which I will be working on as soon as I am done with a lot of other things. I thank you all for watching this episode, and I will continue to make more videos from this point on. Thank you guys. God bless. I love you all. This is T.J. Patterson signing off. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.